right, it's our craft video. And our lesson is about King David and about King David being um, aware of the fact that he did something very terrible. And, you know, boys and girls, it's easy for us to say, well, he did a terrible, terrible thing, and I'm not like that. But, you know, Jesus taught that even if you shout an ugly word to somebody, like you tell somebody, oh, you're so stupid, or, um, or I hate you, or whatever, that is exactly the same sin as murdering somebody. So never think that your sin doesn't offend God. No matter how little it is, it seems little to you, but it's not little to God. Any time that you sin. Now, do you remember what David's job is? Not in the first time we learned about David when he was a shepherd. What is his job now when he makes this terrible mistake? That is right. He is the king. All right, so I want to tell you something important about yourself. You may not realize it, but you are royalty, boys and girls. If you have trusted Jesus as your Savior, and I pray that you have, then you are royalty, and um, you need a crown too because you're a princess or a prince, and um, one day the Lord is going to use you in a mighty way, right? Just like he used David in a mighty way. So um, what I did was I made crowns. Okay, so I made lots of different kinds of crowns, and I'll show you how to make them. So I made this kind of crown, which is kind of a fancy crown, you know. It's got jewels on it, so sapphires, right? And it's just it's the kind of crown you can wear it like that, or you can wear it up here on top of your head. So that's one kind of crown, right? Another kind of crown is a crown that looks kind of like the one that David has on in the picture that we colored. It's this kind of crown, and so it's got points all the way around. And then it has whatever, jewels, whatever you want to make, jewels in your crown. Okay, and another kind of crown is the kind that we kind of see in um, Disney queens, right? They have this kind of crown, and maybe kings have it too, to where it goes, whoop, and there's some kind of big, giant, beautiful stone right here. Well, my big, giant, beautiful stone is a heart. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make these crowns, and it's super easy. There's nothing for you to print out. All you need is construction paper, whatever kind of construction paper you like. So for that little crown... What I did was I had a piece of um, regular construction paper like this, and I folded it over once, then I folded it over again, then I folded it over one more time, and then I cut along the edges, yeah? And when I cut, it was skinny like this, so I cut the edge there, and I cut the edge here, and now I have a whole bunch of strips, all right? So then I decided how many strips do I need to go around my head. And so it turns out that it took two. Now for you, it will probably take a little less than two because you don't have a big head like me. So you figure out what you're going to need in terms of size. And the way you can do that is you can glue the ends together like this. And then once they're together, then you stretch your paper around and you see, well, how much do I need to make it fit? And sure enough, for me, it was exactly two. You probably have to cut part of yours off to make it work. And then you glue the ends together and it makes a crown. But I think it's smart if you decorate it, decorate your two pieces before you glue them into a circle. And that way you don't have to crease it. Because if you glue them together, then you want to decorate the sides. you got to lay it flat to do that so you can be careful and lay it just this much. Color that one, then color that one, then color this one, then move it. So that way you don't crease it. But if you crease it flat when you're trying to decorate it, it will make it hard for it to sit on your head the right way and easy to tear. So I suggest you do it this way. And I kind of love this crown. This is actually my favorite kind of crown. <laughs> I don't know why I like this crown best, but I do. I like these kind of um, a much simpler, more, I don't know, elegant kind of crown. But I really do like the one that David has on, and it's one like this. So really, I did the same thing. I took um, blue this time. I folded it in half once. You know, In other words, your construction paper looks like this, right? So you have a uh, short side and a long side. So you turn it to the long side, you fold it in half one time, right? And then you fold it in half another time, okay? So when you fold it in half the second time, then you go down along the edge and you just draw a loop every here and again. You make like a little piece of a loop there, then you make a straight line, a loop, straight line, a loop, straight line, a loop, 
straight line, a uh, little piece of a loop, right? Now you cut it, right? And when you cut it, you cut it into the loops, into the loops, into the loops. And when you do that, you get pieces like, you have pieces like this. I didn't cut this one like that yet, but it has like these in it, right? Because you cut them and now they were, they were together like this. So now when you take them apart, you have two pieces that have those loops in them. And then you, um, you decorate it before you put it together into a circle, but you measure it again to see what size does it need to be for your head. And then all I did, I took white construction paper and I made these little um, diamond shapes or rhombus, whatever you want to call that shape. And I put them, stuck them on there, but you could make whatever you want. You could use stickers, you could use markers or crayons, anything you want. And then you stick it together and you make a crown. And you see, I kind of like this crown a little bit because it does look rather royal um, in its, uh, the way that it's made. You can see that this is where I joined my sides together, so that loop is not the same as the other, so it might be better if I wear it like this. Yeah, that looks better, don't you think? Okay, so maybe you like this kind of crown and you wear this one, okay? Maybe you like them all and you, wear, you make three like me. And then for the yellow one, what I did was I folded it one time like this. I just folded it over one time. Then I fold just one half of it up. And the reason is because the circle that's going to go around the back doesn't have a pointy thing going up. But the circle that's in the front does have a pointy thing going up. So when you fold it like this, you draw your pointy thing on there, okay? Now this is how I did it. I just took a pen and I just went from the line up and off and from the line up and off. So let me show you. Just like from the line up and off, and from the line up and off, like that, you see? And when you cut that, it makes like a kind of a flat thing on the top, and but it goes up, right? So that it gives that idea of a crown with a point on it, you know, kind of a Disney princess kind of crown. crown. And then you cut along the edge of the, of the folded piece. You cut along the edge, and then you cut out the point, and then you finish cutting along the edge. Now, after you do that, when you fold it out like this, part of it is not going to be cut because that's the part where your up part was. So you'll have to cut that part aside, right? And so now you will have two pieces, one that has this point on it and one that is just flat, okay? Once again, you have to measure it to see what size your head is going to be. And then you put whatever you want on it before you glue it together. I think that's the easiest. It's the way that I did it. And then you glue it together to where it fits on your head. <laughs> and I know this is a super popular kind of crown because that's the kind that my grandchildren love, 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 this kind of crown. It's not my favorite. <laughs> but I made one because I thought, you know, I know some people just love this kind of crown. But the main thing for you to remember is no matter what kind of crown you wear, you have the right to wear it if you have trusted Jesus as your Savior. Now let's talk about what that means, okay? Because sometimes we say that and we haven't talked about it in a long time and I want to make sure that we do know what it means. Boys and girls, every single one of us is a sinner. And there's a verse in the Bible that says, For all have sinned, all, and fall short of the glory of God. Because the goal is not for us to be better than the person that lives next door or better than the person that lives in the house with us. It's to be better than God. Now, think about that. You cannot be better than God. Neither can I. No one can. We are sinners. We fall short. We are so easily distracted. We tell lies. We hurt people's feelings. We think mean thoughts. We are lazy. We don't do the things we promise to do. All of these are sins, boys and girls. And the Bible also says that if you keep the whole law and you offend in one part, you just won, you stumble down one time, you're guilty of breaking the law. And the penalty of breaking the law is death. It says in the Bible, the wages of sin is death. In other words, you sin, you need to die and go to hell. That's the way it works. But there is good news. And the good news is that the gift of God, the gift that God gives us, is eternal life, not death, eternal life. How? We're sinners. We deserve to die. How are we getting eternal life? 
through Jesus Christ, his son. Jesus Christ came down here. Who was he? God. He came here and he became a man so that we could understand what his love is like. He came down here and he became human for one reason only. And that is to die on the cross for our sins. And he did it for God. God so loved the world, all of us boys and girls, that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, that whoever believes in him should have eternal life. Not die, but have eternal life. Excuse me for a minute. Let me take a little sip of something here. That's about as empty a cup as I've picked up in a long, long time. Hopefully that's better. All right. So what you need to do is you need to agree with God. You need to not argue with him. Just like David agreed with God that he had sinned and he fell on God's mercy that's what you need to do, boys and girls. You need to say, Lord, I am a sinner. But you have promised that if I confess my sin to you, which I'm doing right now, I'm confessing my sin to you, then you will come in and you will be the Lord of my life. And you will give me your Holy Spirit to help me to, excuse me, understand your words and to walk closer to you all the time and to love you better all the time and to obey then you, boys and girls, are a child of God if you do that. If you have trusted Christ as your Savior, you know you're a sinner, and you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, and that you accept that free gift of his salvation, because you say, Lord, I know you died for me. Thank you, because otherwise I didn't have any hope. And you say, I, I'm, I'm willing to let you be the Lord of my life. I want to read your Bible I want to learn what you're trying to teach me about who you are and what you've done. And I want to be that child who is listening to you and doing what you have told me to do and growing in the knowledge of you all the time so that you can use me, Lord, to teach other people about Christ or to bless other people or to help other people in needs, whatever. Lord, I'm yours. Use me however you want. That's called being a Christian. That's called being a child of God. And if God is the king and you're his child, then you're a princess, hmm? Or a prince. Huh? You are. I keep putting this one on sideways every time I pick it up. I love this crown. It's cool. But my favorite one is this one right here. And one day, Lord, I know you're going to give me a crown that is so amazing that I won't even be able to understand how amazing it is. Boys and girls, I want you to have one of those crowns too. I do, I do, I do. Please, please, please. Spend time praying for me. I spend time praying for you. I love you so much. And I miss you so much. And I'm so excited about whenever we get back together. Thank you for watching. I hope you make some beautiful crowns. And if you do, take a picture and send it to me, okay? Bye.